Well, we're uh, still in summertime when this video has been shot, an ideal time to mess about with antennas. And here's another video about antennas, which I hope you'll find interesting. Remember that on this channel we regularly provide discount codes below the video. You can check for a discount code and you can use this code on our website to save yourself some money. Around about 5% is the normal amount you save. There's very few products that are excluded. So check it out, save some money and then click on the link to our website. Well welcome to the Waters and Stanton video channel. Thank you for joining me. Another aerial topic today. You know, the end-fed half-wave has been particularly popular over the last few years, yet it goes back an awful long way. As far as I can make out, it goes back nearly a hundred years. The beauty of the end-fed half-wave uh, in the current design is that it covers several bands. It covers the harmonic bands related to the bass band. Well, sometimes you just want a simple end-fed half-wave for one band. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just make it very simply out of wire? Well, in actual fact, you can. Let me show you how. The half-wave antenna or dipole has been the basis of many, many uh, radio systems, antenna systems over the years. And it's quite a convenient one to use portable. And I've got my mind on a portable end-fed half-wave that would operate only on one band, but you wouldn't need a 49 to 1 unan. All you need is wire. It will be simple to make, simple to erect, simple to take down. And I've chosen the band to um, demonstrate this uh, principle as the 20 meter band, because the 20 meter band carries an awful lot of traffic. It's open at the moment all day and for a good part of the night. So it's an ideal band to center on. And of course, a half wave uh, antenna on 20 meters is not that long. It's 10 meters long and it means to say that even uh, if you're out portable or maybe in your home garden it's not too difficult to erect. So let's take a look at an end-fed half wave with a bit of a difference. Now put up on the screen the simple half wave and uh, there is a formula for calculating a half wave uh, antenna and you'll see the dimensions for this particular 20 meter version. Now, if we go back a couple of years when I started to talk about NFED half waves, you realize that the, the, the simple way to use a, an NFED half wave and make use of the fact that it works on its harmonics is to use a 49 to 1 unun. But if you are going to operate it on just a single band, you don't actually need that. Now, I'm going to go back nearly a hundred years, well probably a hundred years actually, to the days of the Zeppelin and I think this principle was used uh, in the Zeppelin antenna, um, hence the the name ZEP or NFED ZEP or ZEP NFED, whatever you like to call it. Um, it's the way that they trailed a half-wave antenna out of the, um, uh, the, the sort of balloon um, and uh, they had to feed it um, such that it wasn't too complicated. Now, if you feed an end-fed wire, um, you've got a very high impedance, and that's no good. It means to say it's very high voltage and very low current. So on the screen here, you'll see that if you add just a quarter wavelength of balance feeder, in this case, I've used 450 ohm ladder line. If you add a quarter wave, you then arrive at a feed point which is the maximum current point and the minimum voltage. And it's where the maximum current occurs on an antenna makes it very easy to feed because it's a low impedance. So we've got a half wave antenna trailing out of our balloon. Then we've got 450 ohm ladder line. And at the end of that ladder line is a nice high current point where you connect your coax cable. Now here's the dimensions and layout of this end-fed half-wave with the ladder line coming down vertically. So the antenna can be erected at say 15 or 20 feet above the ground and then your ladder line comes down 
and uh, you're ready to uh, make the connection. Now you need to provide some sort of isolation when you attach your coax cable and all you need to do is to use a choke ballon which is very simply made by winding coax cable into a coil. If, as you probably will do, use something like RG58 then put around about 10 turns on a, say a 2 inch former, it's not critical wind it round tightly, bind it together and you've got your choke ballon then and then all you need to do is to take the coax back to your transceiver and if you actually adjust it correctly you'll find that you probably don't need an antenna tuner and the fine adjustment is really best made by just adjusting the length of the half wave dipole slightly um, if you use the dimensions I've got it will take you very close to the point where it's almost uh, bang on tune it means to say you can then fold this antenna up, put it in the back of the car, run it out, and you've got this end-fed half wave that is portable, doesn't need an unun, and is completely made of wire. And of course you can make ones for other, other bands as well. It's a great little antenna for portable operation or for occasional home use. So thanks to the good old Zeppelin, we've got a means of creating a simple end-fed half-wave. It doesn't enable you to operate on other bands, although I suspect, I suspect that if you use the 20 meter uh, version, which I've described here, you and you've got an internal antenna tuner, I'm pretty sure that you'll find that you can get some, some sort of performance on the 17 meter band as well, because the 17 meter band is not far away from the 20 meter band. And although the VSWR will rise, if you've got an antenna, in, internal antenna tuner in your transceiver, switch it on, and I bet you'll get a reasonable match. Certainly it will work. So you've got a two band antenna. There we are. I hope this has been informative. I hope it gives you some ideas, something to play with. and. Uh, Antennas are great fun and this particular antenna doesn't take up too much in the way of work or cost and uh, it may well provide you with a lot of fun. As usual, thanks for watching this, uh, this, this video. I hope you um, enjoy your home radio. You take care and as usual, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.